The selfie revolution and social media have drastically changed the way we look at ourselves, with more women than ever before seeking out cosmetic procedures and plastic surgery. But how much is too much? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. 25 years after Sir mix -a lots hip-hop classic, butts are bigger than ever in popularity and in size. A music industry requirement for video vixens and female artists like Nicki Minaj, who celebrated a huge career milestone with this Instagram video. I sat down with Dr. David Schaefer, one of the top plastic surgeons in the country, for his take. Butt lifts, which, you know, have just started a few years ago, are definitely uh, exponentially <laughs> increasing. DJ K. Slay's wildly popular Straight Stuntin' magazine was one of the first to celebrate bootylicious beauties with high fashion model type shoots. Plastic surgery can change your shape in many other ways, like bigger breasts or fat reduction. Take Honey Boo Boo star Mama June Slim Down from 325 pounds to a size 4. In some circles, slim is still very much in. The idea of beauty is different for every person and different cultures and different groups of people. So some people come in here, they want their whole body life or section, they want to be thin as a rail, right? Other people come in, they want to have curves, they want to have breasts, they want to have everything done. Dr. Schaefer says bargain basement surgery in other countries can cause serious health complications and end up costing a patient more money in the long run. If you're thinking of surgery, he offers these tips. Do your research, make sure it's a real office, meet in person with a doctor, and choose a board-certified plastic surgeon. Board certification tells you that that doctor has gone through all of the qualifications to become a doctor. And there's the academic learning, the ethical part of becoming a board-certified doctor, and then also all the training and experience that they've had. Another key is non-physical, having realistic expectations, which Dr. Schaefer gives his patients using the latest technology. The whole idea, of course, is to feel better about how you look. You want to make sure they're doing it for themselves and not somebody else pressuring them to do the surgery because otherwise you're not going to make them happy. So is all this emphasis on image changing our value system? Let's find out what our panel has to say. Joining us, Dr. Tavisa Meir. She's a dermatologist. She's a host of a CBS radio show called Glam Meir. You've seen her many times on Bravo TV. Dr. Meir, thank you so much for being with us. So excited to be here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, me too. We're, we're glad to have you. Also with us, just f straight off the plane from L.A., uh, Keith Robinson. He's an actor. You see him now in Saints and Sinners. He's also starring in the upcoming Tupac biopic, All Eyes on Me. He's a singer and songwriter. His new album is called love episodic. Keith, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. We Glad really appreciate it. Also with us is Jazzy Bell. She's a co-host with my good friend DJ K Slay on Shade 45 Radio. She's also the creator and host of the Women in Hip Hop podcast. Jazzy Bell, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for I'm having me. I'm so excited me. about that. I'm the, excited to be here. No, it's awesome. Dr. Mir, let me start with you. The, the pressure, you're in the public eye, you're on TV. Has it gotten too much? It has. You know, it used to be 10 years ago I would get women in their late 30s and 40s coming to see me for procedures. Now I have people under 18 coming in wanting things done. And it's actually because of the selfie culture. It's because of social media and it's because they're trying to be perfect. And it is, it is getting to be out of control. It's almost like any time you walk out the door, people have to be conscious about how they look. Yeah. And also, but they're presenting this perfect image on social media, not realizing that they've been filtered, you know, to the gods. And, <laughs> so and people are trying to get that filter in real life at a younger, younger age. And sometimes in really dangerous ways, too. Sometimes not through a doctor. Sometimes, you know, back alley kind of procedures. Right. And, and yeah. things that are dangerous. And Absolutely. we've seen so many stories about yeah. those. Je Jesse Bell, in yes. the hip-hop world, too, especially for women, there's tremendous pressure. We saw <laughs> Kendrick song with you know he really likes stretch marks but do you really Humble. buy that <laughs> um, I do maybe him but I in do. general no 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 I do I mean listen guys I've dated they like take off that makeup now you know so, really yeah absolutely they they like take that dog on weave out your head like you know like I like the natural you and so I believe it's some truth to that but what happens is we watch television and we see a different portrayal mm -hmm. of what beauty is so it's kind of a contradiction so 
it's a conflict there as a woman to see, okay, at home, or we see a guy say, this is what you love, but we see you on Instagram, and we see you, you know, on TV, and you're hugging up against Shorty with plastic body parts, and it's like, come on, guy, like, which one is the truth, you know, so it's difficult as a woman to kind of, yeah. you know, figure out, figure out what, what really, what, what guys is. want, yeah. and also, but also what makes you happy. Keith, exactly. what about, I'm sorry you're the only guy here on the panel, we got <laughs> Michael Medium right. here backing up, but <laughs> what do you, what do you, th yeah. there's pressure on guys, though, too, especially in the entertainment field. I mean, you're out there all the time. Yeah. I think there's pressure. I mean, uh, the social media, is, it's kind of, uh, it's hard to come by, you know, self-love, I guess is what it's all about. It's kind of being confident in what you have to present. So it, it does add pressure, you know, for men as well. I, I think maybe, though, a, a little bit um, less for men than, than, than women. But uh, it's still there. It's kind of the underbelly of it because, you, like you say, you, you know, you, yeah. you look. People live through these filters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So people are subconsciously trying to keep up, always keep up, and it's constantly images are coming at you every thirty seconds on your on your timeline. So you kind of gotta put the phone down sometimes and get reconnected. <laughs> it's, just, it's just too much. But what about the what about the the pr the pressure itself? Because yeah. people they make comments. I mean, people make comments on social okay. media oh, yeah. that, that they would never make in real life. Right. Well, I mean, I was on my Bravo show and I was wearing this white dress and mm -hmm. in a time of the day of the month in a woman's life, you probably shouldn't be wearing a white dress. So <laughs> I'm up, I'm that, up on otherwise TV. known as that time yeah, of the month, so okay? Uh -huh. I have a piece of hair. And so um, I'm in there and then it finally airs and I get so many comments of other women. It comes a lot of times from other women mm -hmm. saying you're too fat to be wearing that dress. Oh, I'm like we have wow. to stop. This yeah. is nuts. It's sometimes the meanest things come from other women. Yeah, women, y'all are harder on each other. Yeah, we are. Go in. I don't know why that's the case though. Yeah. I mean, even with my podcast, Women in Hip Hop, I'm all about women empowerment. I'm all about you know looking out for each other. Yeah. But since starting that podcast, I've noticed that it's the women that women. don't show love, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. so frustrating. So you, you're right about that. Yeah. And why is that? Is it? Why do you think? We are taught to judge mental and I don't know why and I don't know where that comes from I've got two nieces I don't want them to go through this stuff you know right. people have said to me when I introduce myself Hi, I'm Dr. Mir, and I know I was telling you this earlier. And they're like, "Are you a real doctor?" I'm like, Why would you? Why? Say because you're that? beautiful, and the way you look, they God don't think forbid, you can also be smart God too. I could be smart too, right? You know, so yeah, it definitely is something that I've been dealing with for a long time. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. it's the nature of women. You know, we're taught to be catty. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's better. just unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? Because there's so much that we can do together, but um, I feel like it has to start with each other. Like each one, teach one. Hopefully, somehow, some way, we could break down the stereotypes and just I don't know get along but it's pressure and it'll be a little bit easier because yeah. I think it's the comments are vicious and then I think the other thing too you talked about your nieces it's you look at the you look at our little girls yeah. like eight nine ten years old mm -hmm. now they're looking at Instagram and yeah. they want to be a certain kind of way at, at eight or nine instead of just going out playing and having fun they're worried about how they look yeah those days are gone as far as being outside playing there right, right. it's all on, it's all on the phone glued, yeah. glued to the phone but but mm -hmm. dr. Mir do you think that the also the availability now widespread availability of so many cosmetic procedures yeah. of so much surgery there's so much advertising about it we see all those stories where you see faces over time how people have changed yeah. and after having all these procedures that it it's distorting what our concept of what's real is absolutely mm -hmm. you know I, I look at like the Kylie Jenner effect that's when I first caught on to it um, when a mother came to me because there was a thing called Kylie Jenner challenge where mm. people were like sucking into like whatever yeah. to get their lips to get their lips up, really puffy that. right yeah. so this woman comes in with her daughter with her lips all cut up and I'm like what <gasps> the heck and she had sucked into a shot glass and basically Thanks. you know and so oh. that's when I started noticing it it's from these insta celebrities that you want to be like insta mm -hmm. celebrities yeah, yeah. insta and you want they want to be an insta celebrity and then yeah. what do you do when somebody comes to you and they're like hey I want to look like this or this you know I think that um, and they're 14 years I old I think that if you're 14 you need to have a good sense of who you are or at least I'm not wait I take that back you need to start to learn who you are right that's too young to start getting that stuff yeah. done. Don't you think it starts at home as well? Yeah. Like, yeah, why sure. as a parent, you're not telling your 14-year-old daughter, be easy. You yeah. have to grow into your beauty. Exactly. And not just your physical beauty, but your internal beauty. Yeah. That's what's more important. Who you are as a person, your intellect, who you are minus your physicality. You know what I mean? And right. I think that's what's missing at home. We have to stop blaming the Kylie Jenners no. for 
the lack of self-esteem, the lack of self-love, knowing your self-worth. I think it really starts yeah, at home with the parents. You can't put that on Kylie. Yeah, uh, you, you can't put that on. They have yeah. a tremendous effect, but at the bottom, mm -hmm. the bottom line at the end of the day is it's up to the parent if they're a minor and up to the individual yeah. if they're an adult. We're going to continue talking okay. about this. We're talking about the pressure to be perfect. I'm Lisa Evers, your host for Street Soldiers, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Lisa Evers. We'll be back right after this. People were coming in every three seconds for like, cheek implants and calf implants and lipo and it's just like the business was booming it was like the mall what do you think about like hip-hop every culture too mm -hmm. and every kind of yeah. segment of society has what it thinks is the Beautiful. perfect ideal and when we look in hip-hop we look at like Nicki Minaj mm -hmm. we look at her figure with the super tiny waist with mm -hmm. the super big hips with the super big <laughs> and is that I mean it just keep it's almost like people are outdoing each other for that yeah no it's it's a growing phenomenon I will say the hip-hop culture has always been about you know beautiful Extra. women yeah I mean from the whole video vixen world and the funny thing you know prior to doing radio I came from that world so I did that initially that was my start into this industry you so were in videos absolutely so that videos and magazines mainly magazines not so much videos but the pressure was there even for me I mean coming from Detroit moving to New York my mother and father told me I was beautiful every day yeah but the minute I got off that Detroit boat honey <laughs> <laughs> and I started going yeah. to Cassidy's yeah. and I look over to the left I look over to the right and I start to see that my waist isn't as small as hers or my nose isn't as narrow as hers you know and it's just the pressure to be perfect in this industry so I even you know felt compelled to like go to the doctor's office and be like so what can I do to be hot yeah. and it's like and it's funny because doctors would be like and you're Girl, gorgeous you get out of here you're hot and right. I'm like I know but I'm not as hot as she or or even like casting directors would be like you know or but that's the thing you got these people this industry is so judgmental so these casting directors and these agents are like uh you're too dark or you're too thick right you know back then starting in um in the vixen world and the video thick vi wasn't in right it was not in and right. the idea of perfect changed a lot too yeah. like, the, 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 si the shape yeah. of women tells like about nowadays, that nowadays the biggest procedures now are what people don't get is like you know the small waists and the big backside mm -hmm. that's we not can say but but i can say yes. but okay <laughs> so but um, that's not natural, you know, like people don't understand that's what people are getting are liposuction mm -hmm. in their ways and the extra stuff packed into their booty. And that's today's idea of perfect. I wonder what's going to happen in 10 years when there's another idea of perfect. It's, it's, it's really scary seeing young girls getting this stuff done now, not thinking about how their body's going to change yeah. in, in the years to come. And then, the, and of course, the breast implants is right. a very popular thing. Keith has a man, but men like those, let's face it. Do men like breast implants? I mean, I think we... Men like breasts. <laughs> Well, I, I'm more of a I, I'm more of a um, a, a booty guy. Yeah. But, hey, uh, hey, woo -woo. Got them. They, well, I'm not mad. I mean, I think they're. I mean, they do kind of proportion a woman out. They right. have, they do have a, a certain level of sex appeal. Yeah. But um, I can actually take them or leave them. Actually, to be, the me breasts. The breasts. I mean, you know, personally. All right, as but you had to tell. Can you tell us about your experience? Well, actually, with your actually, lady? I dated a, a woman once, who, and I actually went to a consultation with her uh, for her breasts, and I was just astonished by the the door never closed yeah. to the doctor's office because people were coming in every three seconds for like cheek implants and calf implants and mm -hmm. lipo and it's just like business was booming it was like the mall it was like being at a, at wow. a shopping mall and that and a lot of times is what people don't understand plastic surgery is contagious i it's, say it's that like tattoos. it's like tattoos it's like if you you can start with your lips you can end up being that all of a sudden you know 10 years down the road you got 100 things that you've done because mm -hmm. you keep wanting to photoshop your mm -hmm. body in real life and for so some i would say not for all it can be not no, for not it all. can if be. you have if you have the money too because it's expensive yeah and men, we as men would much rather you have that naturally, right? Than, as opposed to being, you know, plastic surgery. But if you get it some alter, some some altering things, it's okay as long as it doesn't look like it or feel like it for men. We we don't feel like feel it, like you know. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. So well, how did it feel? That's why they came up with the gummy bear <laughs> breast implants. Well, yeah. I, 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 I don't really you don't know, but I mean, bumps and bumps you don't want to feel lumps and bumps. Okay, all. yeah. A woman is you know is supposed to be soft and feminine yeah. and, and curvy. Yeah. Well. Um, right. Yeah. Right. Yes, right. yes. And I, uh, speaking of curvy, <laughs> you don't want it to feel like a soccer ball when you <laughs> hit right, that thing. We got you. Yeah. <laughs> but even with speaking um, 
about curvy and just to piggyback on what you were saying, um, doctor. I love to call you doctor. You're so beautiful. <laughs> um, the small know, waist awesome. and, and the big butt, it is some natural to that. Like, because yeah. being from Detroit, you could throw a rock and run into a bunch of women that got small waists and big behinds like myself. Mm -hmm. But the thing with that is why does that have to be the standard of beauty? The first thing that people see and comment on is how you look. Yeah, let's be real. So do you ever get around that? How do you ever get around that? I think that I get misjudged a lot. A lot. You do as a doctor. A Tell lot. us that story. I mean, I, I have definitely had so, so many stories, but to this day, people still ask if I'm a real doctor. I handed out my <laughs> business card once, and the guy looked at it and looked at me, and he's like, is this a real business card? Like, I've got... I, that's, Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. It's happened so much, and I don't even know where to start, because I can read, I can write, I can do math. I'm a doctor. <laughs> you have a medical degree? <laughs> yeah. Like, hello. And so it's, it's something that I try not to do to other people, because it happens so much to me. I try not to judge other women. You know, if a good looking man walked in the room and said he was a doctor, no one would question it. They'd just be like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, not with us. We have to prove it. But do you think all this emphasis on image of women is kind of making women change what their goals are? So instead of going for the education, instead of going for yeah, certain so. career things, it's it's now like, let, let me research all these, you know, different plastic surgeons and techniques and wow, things I can yeah. do. And let me study Instagram instead of like studying a law book or a college book. As an Instagram model, you can get, you can get paid. So. It's definitely some yeah. people do seek after that. I mean, it's a, it's they a see of them. they see that as a as a way to get paid. Oh yeah, pay, right? especially in the hip hop. Cause you said yeah. right, like yeah. okay, keep. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. You ain't Instagram model. <laughs> no, but <laughs> you're right. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. I mean, I have friends that are Instagram models. I have friends that are strippers. I have friends that are bartenders. And um, even though they're my friends, I keep it real with them too. Like, listen, don't go to DR, don't go to Columbia, and oh. do all this to your body There's just no to serve a jacket coke. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, like I said, I'm for the surgery. Go ahead, do what you got to do to build your self confidence. But don't do it to please a man. Don't do it because you want that man to buy you a Chanel bag. Don't do your body. Because you're hoping for a man to save you and don't do it on the marry cheek. you, right? And yeah, don't do you know, it. Don't do don't it on like the that. cheek, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't like that. But I'm, I'm for, yeah. like I said, so when I you go to another country to get surgery done, there's no accountability. Like if anything mm -hmm. goes wrong, you're on your own. Yeah. And that's the problem. Like people, and also, I, I mean, I have a patient of mine who um, saves up her money working at a Halloween superstar superstore to come in to get her Botox done. Like mm. she doesn't take any shortcuts, but people work for it. What should people look for when they're going for these procedures? Because yeah. we, we hear these extreme stories like cement, you know, going into the right backside. Yeah. But the but in, in terms, there's a lot of like people like home bo Botox parties in somebody's mm, you know bedroom yeah. or yeah. somebody's kitchen. Well, I mean, you want to go to a doctor. You know, like if you're getting surgery done, you go to a surgeon. If you're getting cosmetic, you know, dermatology, go to a dermatologist. Make sure it's a physician, board certified, licensed. Um, a lot of these other things are not done by physicians. I mean, like I you won't go to a dentist and just say, no. hey, you know what? I got but, some but I got even, some but tools worse, in my kitchen here. Come on. Even I'll worse, fix you I, right know, up. I know girls that are going and getting like a, 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 watching it on YouTube and buying the stuff black market and doing Ooh, it in ho hotel rooms. Like it's so just sad. scary. Go to a physician, licensed, board certified, have a talk with them, have a consultation, make sure you like their bedside manners too. And and that's what you do. Don't bargain hunt. But what about all these facial plates? Like there's a lot of these kind of like uh, beauty places now, different names are kind of like you get a facial and you yeah, we can do a few other things like that. Yeah. Who's what do you think it? about Who's that? Who's doing it? You know, like, that's, that's what you need to ask. Who is doing your procedure? Some people don't care because they're bargaining. They're coupon cutting on their, you know, on their mm -hmm. surgeries. And Body, yeah. You don't want to do that. Keith, it's I'm going to give you the last word. The brave man on the panel here. Uh -oh. the, uh, in, in terms of your career, because you, you're doing so well in, in, in two fields that are very challenging and highly competitive, mm -hmm. just share with us the secret of success. Because, you know, we get people here at Hot 97 on Fox 5, we get people who want to be where you're at and yeah. asking us for advice all the time. So what would you say? I would say uh, staying true to yourself is important. Self-belief is important because it is a high level of rejection. So remember why you started. Stay focused on the craft. You know, continue to knock on the door, but get good at knocking. And don't give yourself a deadline like I need to make it by such and such. Don't, don't, don't try to put limits on when you're supposed to be at a certain level or compare yourself to other people's careers because everybody has their own path. So just learn to enjoy your own path and perfect it. And sooner or later, 
You be sitting on Hot 97 with Lisa Evans. Hey! <laughs> and Fox 5 Street Soldiers. All right, Street guys. Soldiers. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. This was an awesome show. Dr. Tavis Amir, Keith Robinson, and Jazzy Bell, thanks so much for thank being you. with us. Thank for you. For this episode of Street Soldiers. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Remember, use your, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace.